month. On a high note, we've had some strong earnings reports. One of the things helping to lift stocks at the end of the month. We're up 366 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average today on top of the Florida points at the end of the day yesterday. Let's bring Mike Lee and Ryan Payne in. They're both here in studio with me to talk about this uh, wacky market. And um, <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? I mean, is the idea that we end on a high note, a sign that we're closer to the you know, the end and the beginning of some sort of phase we're going through. How do you look at it? Well, I think corrections are always defined by a lot of volatility. So that's probably a good sign. And I have, you know, I'm a retail. I deal with a retail investor. They panicked a little bit last week. I don't know if they did for you, Mike. To me, that's always a good sign because they're always a negative indicator column. Well, it was interesting because we had a guest. We had a guest on last hour. It basically said the same thing. We were talking at the time about where to find yield and and this environment of rising interest rates. She was saying, yeah, some of her clients uh, came into her and she kind of had to remind them that you know you could actually own bonds also not stocks that there are play other <laughs> places but you know people have to adjust and kind of get used to the environment that we're in what are you noticing so um interest rates are going higher i believe the volatility that we got earlier this year and the volatility we have now is from interest rates starting to come off their lows i think there has been a healthy dose of skepticism every time powell said he was going to raise rates and that the fed was going to keep going and that the 10-year the 30-year were going to rise um, Every time that that skepticism goes away and becomes a reality, right. uh, that's when I would say more institutional investors, more fast money investors hit the panic button, hit sell, and we just see a tremendous amount of volatility. What's the bullish case? I know you're, you're bullish. Um, I've seen you appearing on other shows. You say you, long term, you're still a, a bullish guy. Now I get somebody like Dennis Gartman who comes on the other day says we're already in a bear market. I can think of, you know, interviewing Gary Kaltbaum a number of times. He says, hey, listen, I'd love to be bullish, but all the signs I'm seeing here are bearish. What's the bullish case right now? So uh, when you. So obviously there's an argument right now. Are we in a bull or bear market? But the long term fundamentals. So I'm talking about a year or two, I think is very uh, bearish just because we've had so much growth the last eight years. And now our debt is out of control and the interest rates are going up. So I understand that the balance sheet looks good and short term companies look profitable, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm already putting some sell orders for my Amazon stock. I hate selling Amazon, but I'm taking more and more of a cash position and uh, I'm not selling at low prices. I'm hoping that the market will recover back to the all time highs before we take another dip. But long term, I've already positioned my portfolio to be close to 50% now cash, so I can obviously buy the dip, and I am also buying certain shorts of the market, or there's ETFs you can short as well. So I am going into a defensive mode, but like I said, I still have about 30% equities and bonds, and the main reason is that if there is a, a continued growth, I'm not going to miss that. Um, so. Uh, my toe is 30% in, 70% defensive. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.